Okay, hello. So today we will continue our study on how to design our converter. Okay, uh, this focus is more towards the boost converter. So the book I use is the Power Electronic by Daniel W. Hart. So if you can see here, the boost converter, I think you already learned about it. Okay, when it comes to design for boost converter, you only has to focus two things. Okay, continuous current mode and output voltage ripple factor. So I repeat back. When designing boost converter or bug converter or bug boost converter, your focus is only to design so that it is operate in the continuous current mode and the, uh, the specific output voltage ripple factor. That's it for bug boost and bug boost and others converter also. Okay, so let me show you. So for designing, I suggest you use Excel. Why Excel? Okay, when you writing a thesis, you usually only see the beginning and the end. Means that uh, you only uh, have to show the equation. Okay, the final equation for this one. Okay, this equation. Okay, or maybe this equation. This is the equation and also the output. Okay, this equation okay, is done by other people. Means that you put it in chapter 2. Remember that I say that chapter 2 is other people work. Chapter 3 is your work. So, chapter 2 you show the equation. Okay, in chapter 2, literature review. And chapter 3 you show your output of the calculation. Usually in the table. Okay. So, you have by... In the chapter 3 you said that you refer to equation in... Equation something something. Okay, and then... Then you use it and you just produce the output. That's why Excel is the better way. You don't have to show one by one. Okay. So we start with the, for example here, we want the, okay, I give you power. Okay. So power, for example, you have two load. Okay. This For this example, I give you two load. Load one and load. Okay, you can put only one load or two load or three load, anyone, anywhere you want. Okay, depending on your scope of study or your objective. Okay, so for this case, I there are two types of load. Okay, for example, the loads needs to be uh, both uh, 10 watt. Okay, example, both load needs to be 10 watt. Okay, of course, you have to calculate the resistant first okay so when it comes to designing power converter you need to know what is the load if not you cannot know okay remember p equals to v squared divided by r so so equal to s q r t means square root of okay square root of p multiplied by r Okay, square root. Okay, remember back, P is equal to V squared over R. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, oh, sorry, the, this should be, okay, of course, you need to have voltage. So, I forget about voltage. So, you have to put the voltage first. Okay, for example, I want the voltage to be 80 volt. Okay, so this one also. Uh, the second load, uh, I want to be 90. Okay, so the voltage is 80 and maybe 70 and 90. Okay, the output voltage. Okay, then you can calculate the R out the load so like I show before okay so the R is equals to V squared so equals to V power of 2 divided by power okay 
so you get the resistance so drag this and you can know the second load okay so that is how you determine the load of course when you when it comes to this you have to calculate the load first usually you have to calculate the load first and then you look at the book okay boost converter you look at the duty cycle of you has to know the duty cycle so the duty cycle is okay so the formula is okay uh, 1 minus v in divide by v out okay you have to manipulate this equation and you get this okay so you cannot just write something like this so because you have to know what is v in first then you can calculate the d okay v in maybe we just use 50 for both okay 50 volt then this one is 1 minus v in divided by v out okay so you get the first duty cycle and then you get the second duty cycle Okay, let me save this first. Okay, so you all get the duty cycle. Now we move on to the continuous car mode, which is our first objective, the minimum inductor to operate in the continuous current mode. So what is L mean? Basically, when you see this power converter, okay, the boost converter, you can see that, okay, you need to have inductor and capacitor okay you have to design this properly so the see uh, the power boost converter can operate properly so this is the inductor this is a capacitor of course the r out is the load here okay so now we calculate the okay Sorry. Uh, okay, sorry about that. My PC is hang. Okay, so you can see here this is the formula. So you already have D, you already are R, and you, you need to have frequency. So F is okay for this. I suggest you choose the frequency between 20 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz. Okay, if too large, you have to consider the switching loss. Okay, that one is another topic. Okay, if you choose frequency lower than 20 kilohertz, if you do hardware, it will be very noisy. Okay, because it is, the frequency is uh, our hearing range. Okay, so I suggest 20 to 100. So, for this case, I choose 30, for example. Okay, and for boost converter, bulk boost or bulk converter, we usually use the same frequency because this is very hard to change during the operation. Okay, so we already have all the information. Now, we calculate the L. Okay, what is the L? So, basically equals to duty cycle, then multiply by the 1 minus duty cycle again. Okay, square it power of 2 then multiply by the resistance divide by 2 divide by F so this one be careful eh? okay if you because this is divide divide eh? 2 divide or you if you don't like this you can use bracket then multiply remember both mass law so you get the inductor okay I like it and you know the second look okay when it comes to bulk converter or boost converter okay usually we don't change input voltage okay we usually don't change the input voltage inductor capacitor and this one okay and uh, the resistance we can change okay 
the input voltage is also can be changed but usually the inductor and capacitor we cannot change during the operation so this value is fixed inductor and capacitor is fixed so because we have two load we have to make sure we choose the highest one because this is the minimum requirement so minimum requirement needs to be satisfied for both load so you have to choose the maximum so equals to max maximum this one okay so the maximum is this one now we move on to the second objective is this a ripple factor okay you can see here this is the equation for the ripple factor okay all of this already available except this this one is the ripple factor change of volt output voltage divided by average output voltage so why we out okay i use this symbol to represent the this okay the output voltage uh, ripple factor so usually we use 0.01 or 1% okay 1% is good okay so now we calculate the c so use the formula equals to so d divide by r out divide by the ripple factor divide by the switching frequency okay so you get the answer and then of course you highlight this and you have to choose the maximum so equals to max okay highlight this both and this is the value okay okay if you hard to uh, it is very small value so if you don't understand this you can change it to scientific okay so easier for you to understand okay scientific so this one is 1.85 milli okay and this is 1.94 micro okay so this is what you have designed but be careful okay when it comes to simulation this is a ideal condition okay but in reality or if you want to do the implementation or if you want to do simulation okay usually they have non ideality so usually we have to multiply this value with some safety factor for inductor uh, i usually use 1.5 you can use higher but the higher is the larger the inductor and the slower the response so 1.5 and same with this uh, i suggest two times okay the safety factor is two so you get this value okay that is how you design a standard bulb a uh, boost converter okay so you have the input capacity uh, input rate input voltage okay the inductor okay the capacitor and the resistor okay so basically this can satisfy both load okay load one is 490 at 70 volt and load two is 810 okay why we have we want to use excel because you can change this easily example 15 okay so automatically it will calculate it for you okay maybe you want the power to be 20 okay something like that so your design is easily manipulated okay so you will put all of this information okay into chapter 3 okay not all but most of the information you have to put inside chapter 3 Okay, for inductor, maybe you just put the larger one. Okay, capacitor also put the larger one. Or you can show this, okay, and then discuss it in your chapter 3. Okay, that is for boost converter. How about bulk converter? So, you can go to my website here. Okay, you go to research, researcher and guidance. Okay, research, researcher and guidance. okay you go here simulation okay you go to the simulation and then and then you choose simulate okay 
Okay, bug converter simulate. So I show you. Okay, you can look at this video how to design, and of course, uh, com uh, complete with the simulation if you want to do the bug converter. Okay, close this. Okay, how about if you uh, use the PV? Okay. Okay, for if you look here, the bug converter, the input voltage is voltage source. Okay, out voltage source. Okay, but for PV, this voltage source is replaced with the PV. So it is different. Okay, the calculation will be different. So how to do this calculation? Okay, of course you go to here. Okay, you go to find the in the simulation part and go to maximum power point tracking. Go to the boost converter design. And uh, I make a video and you can look how to use the calculator. Okay, I, I also provide the reference here if you want to do the citation. And you can download here. Okay, you can either download MATLAB GUI or MATLAB, uh, Windows application. Don't need to install anything. But if you use MATLAB guy, you have to have MATLAB. And of course, you need to have MATWORK account. Okay, so Network Account is a platform that per, uh, researchers share their simulation. Okay, here. So you basically can download the simulation inside the network. But you need to have the account to download this. Okay, so you you, you look at this. I will sh uh, the video will show you how to calculate the inductor, the capacitor, and everything. Okay. If you connect PV model, PV module at the input of the boost converter. Okay. That's it. Good luck. Thank you.